Hello, Rabbi Zamir Cohen. I wanted to ask about why it is forbidden to get a tattoo made when it is allowed to get permanent makeup, which is done similarly to a tattoo. Permanent makeup is also not entirely allowed. The Torah says, do not put tattoo marks on yourselves. You are a holy people to your God who has created you with a beautiful body. Do not desecrate it. Do not ruin it. Even if you think the tattoo is decorative, it's like someone going to the Louvre Museum in France, taking a piece of art, say the Mona Lisa, which I know is worth a lot of money, and saying, I think I'll add some more decoration here, they would take him to jail. You have destroyed millions of dollars by adding that decoration. God has made a masterpiece, which is the human body. Why are you desecrating it? Why are you ruining it? You are a holy people to the Lord your God. The Torah prohibits getting a tattoo, like eating pork. One must be careful, not like today when it has become a fashion. In these weeks, for some reason, there were those who wanted to commemorate the fallen and got tattoos. You need to explain to them, it's harmful to the deceased, you are not honoring them. Although your intention is good and it's nice that you want to commemorate, but not like this. If you want to commemorate, start a charity organization in the name of the deceased. In any field, do good deeds, organize a regular weekly lesson at home for the deceased, but not tattoos. The Holy Zohar says that when a person gets a tattoo on their body, it penetrates their soul. And when they arrive in the world to come, wherever they go, they are ashamed of how they look. They have a stain on their soul from that tattoo, unless they repent. While living in this world, if they regret it, like anything else, a person who failed in observing the Sabbath, something not kosher, they can repent, regret the past, commit to the future, confess, abandon the sin, encourage others not to get tattoos. This is the repentance to correct it. It is best to laser remove the tattoo if possible, but even if not, at the very least, they should repent for what was done and commit for the future. Permanent makeup is something else. It's called permanent makeup. But after a few years, it fades away. There are some Torah authorities that forbid such makeup. Maran Rabbi Ovadia Yosef permitted it in times of necessity for the sake of human dignity. There are those who have no eyebrows and feel embarrassed. Permanent makeup looks like eyebrows, but after a few years it disappears and needs to be redone. It's not really like a tattoo that stays all the time, so in times of necessity it's permitted. So there's no comparison between the two.